The wood needed to build the Y tro has to be expertly planked before it can be sent off to a boatyard in Gloucester, where it'll be fashioned and transformed into a replica of the old river workhorse. Using specialist equipment with pinpoint accuracy, the timber is cut from trees into large single lengths. Major David Davenport has extremely generously donated six large trees which will provide most of the timber for this trow and that is being cut as we speak. Uh, and we've got a, a lot of things to think about, procurement, organisation, and one of the most important things is going to be to identify a crew which will be capable of rowing a quite significant craft on the Thames Tideway, uh, but will also be suitably representative of the county. So we don't have all the answers on that yet, but we will certainly be thinking of sea cadet organisations and maybe rowing clubs and other Hereford people who will have an opportunity to take part and represent their county. I myself am delighted to play a small part in helping the organisation of this project. I think it's a very exciting one and I am particularly keen that young people will have a chance to take part. The next stage in the project takes place at Tommy Nielsen's boatyard in Gloucester, where highly skilled shipwrights have the task of fashioning the raw materials into a working 36-foot replica of this iconic vessel.